Hello, I'm Dr. Nisikowski. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to play the triangle version of Blockus. You may be aware of our other videos on the 2D versions of Blockus and the 3D version. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll see here that this uses triangles and a triangle shaped board. Now, what's different than this than the regular edition? Well, you cannot touch the sides as normal. You have to touch triangle uh, tips. So, you, for instance, you could do that. You could, t you could touch the tip to a side hmm. or tip to tip. There are advanced rules where you, can, you can't do this, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> uh, I mean, you could even, uh, you know, there's a version here where I can get this in here. Oh, well. <laughs> but it does require a little bit more uh, in terms of educational connections. Yes. Are you flipping and rotating and doing reflections of pieces? Yes. Mm -hmm. The problem is with these shapes, it's not very common. Uh, triangles, you're not going to be using too much in geometry, at least unless you're taking an advanced honors class or something like that. So, yes, uh, it's two to four players, 20 minutes, ages seven and up. You are doing transformations, and, and some of the pieces are made up of five triangles. But in terms of math connections, this would be enrichment pretty much. Oh. If you've already played blo uh, Blockus 2D, uh, the Blockus and the Blockus 3D, and then you move on to this. Hey, you want to try this? And then maybe if, uh, as an enrichment for a gifted and talented student, mm -hmm. and they and you want to have them uh, use a computer, or even uh, if you're able to reproduce these shapes on a uh, worksheet or something like that, you could have them do advanced geometry with it. Mm -hmm. So this is the game I played the least out of all the other Blockuses. So let's take a look at the rules. Actually, I put it always back here. <laughs> okay. So it starts out a little different that each player will have these little starting points right here. It's hard to see because I have it overexposed right now. Now, this is the Educational Insight version. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. Okay, there's multiple spots you can start. Oh. Okay. And there's six spots you can start, but this is a four-player game. Now, I have it overexposed. I don't know if the Mattel version has these translucent pieces. They might be solid. Mm. This is still in print, the Mattel uh, version. This is the Educational Insight version. So you will start off in one of these spots, and just like in regular Blockus, go ahead, Julie, you can, I mean, you can place it anywhere you want, but it's hard for you to see right now. I'm going to use my finger here. Okay. Let's take, yeah, that one. There we go. And then I must start in my spot. And then if you're playing, uh, you know, I could even start over here if I really wanted to, or even over there. Now, if we're playing a two-player version, Julie would also play green next, so go ahead and do that. Can you see where you're starting? I can, yes. Okay. And then, now you can touch the sides of other pieces. You can? You can, just okay. like the regular Just blocking. like the regular, okay. Okay. So you can see it takes a little bit more finesse to get them in here. Yeah, it really okay. does. Okay. And then now... My uh, turn. Uh, blue goes. And you're trying to place the most pieces again. So this is why mm. it's more challenging because it's not, there we go. it's not so, I guess you could say, uh, what's a word for it? With, with regular block, it's, it's easier to see the squares and put them in there. Mm -hmm. With these triangles, it takes a bit more finessing. True. Yeah, it doesn't just slide right on like right. the other one does. At so all. I could do this here. So I, this is more challenging. I really don't know this game as well as I, you know, like, oh, this is the best piece to use in this situation. I'd have no idea. So you keep on playing until, so we'll stop here. Oh, okay. Until we've played, uh, until we can't play anymore. Okay. Now, the scoring is a little different in this game. Oh. Uh, I should point out that in two player, like we just did, Julie would have two colors, I'd have two colors. In a three player one, you do not play with the outside edge. You do not. So this game is a little bit easier to play with three players uh, because you don't have to play with another color. You just lose an edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and four players, obviously, you play with all the pieces. Now, how does scoring work? Now, I have to show the score sheet here. In fact, this is a little bit easier to, to see what we were doing there. Yeah. So for scoring, oh. now, I don't know if it's different with the Mattel version. You count the number of unit triangles in his or her remaining pieces. So... If I had this left, just like a regular block, it's, that's, a, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be worth minus six points. Ah. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Because there are one, two, three, uh, six units of triangles on that piece. I see. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. But if you do manage to place them on, this is what's weird. You get 15 points. Ooh. And you get an additional five points if you place this last. So you could have up to 20 points. Oh, my goodness. But the way, I, I don't know why I even bother. <laughs> because if you place all your pieces, you're going to win. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So the way we've played it is just basically, hey, if you place all your pieces, you won. Uh, you won. Yeah. I guess if you place your, your last piece, that could be the tiebreaker. Mm. So let's say we both place both our pieces, all of our pieces. Yeah. This would be the tiebreaker. I see. Uh, but <laughs> yellow would have lost. Red was second. I'm sorry. Fourth, third, second, and yeah. blue won. Now, I guess it could matter doing that scoring in a four-player game mm. if, I, I, if, I, if you were blue, right, mm -hmm. and you were yellow, the yellow would subtract a lot from your blue score because oh. you would have 20 points from blue and then the yellow would subtract from it. I see. And then I would have you know, negative anyway from this. Hmm. So I guess it could matter in a two-player game when you're playing two colors. I guess so, yeah. Well, you can see, though, that there are that many start spaces. Okay. So. There's a lot. So that's Blockus Trigon. It's probably the least accessible in terms of of tying into things you can do after you play the game, mm -hmm. unless you have some computer aided, or you have some worksheets that have these types of uh, of shapes. As a parent, I couldn't see our boys really wanting to play this one we, over regular Blockus. Or even block is 3D. I think they would like yeah. that better than this well, one. Well, this is the one we played. We did play the least. Yeah. Because it just wasn't, just manipulating these shapes mm -hmm. wasn't as fun for us. No. It, 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 uh, it was kind of elusive on how, I mean, I guess if you play it a lot, you can get used to how things Maybe. fit in it. Yeah. But even when I played it with my gifted and talented kids, we played this one the least. Did you? Yeah. Oh, the, the kids didn't even really want to do it. Well, because it. it was more easier to tie in regular sure. blockers to architecture and to other things. That makes a lot Compared to this. Yeah, that makes so, a lot of sense. So more enrichment uh, and maybe uh, if somebody really loves blockers and they want to try something else and you want to uh, extend it, then yeah. you have this one available. Otherwise, uh, I don't see, I, would, I don't recommend. No, I'd uh, recommend the other ones instead. Right. Unless you got some serious blockers playing. Yeah, game, if you're like, this is like your game, then right. obviously get it. But if you're just kind of a casual blockers player, I wouldn't really yeah. stress over trying to get this one. Now, some people might like this better because it, yeah. is, because it isn't so uh, cut and dry with, true. with placing the pieces. That's very true. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. All right. So that's Blockers Trigon. Please check out our other videos. Yep. And please don't forget to subscribe and like. See you guys. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.